I got to use the Organi cup for a few days during my last period and I'm back to tell you how my experience went. If you're looking for an unboxing, information, or a walkthrough of this cup, I will leave the link at the end of this video or in the description below. If you're curious to see how my experience went with the Organi cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. First of all, a while back I was reading some reviews and I was under the impression that the Organi Cup was a softer cup. So when I received it, I was quite surprised at how firm it is. It's not ultra firm like the Yuki Cup, but it does have a good resistance behind it if you're looking for a firmer cup. A little background about my period. Uh, I did bleed for quite a few days, but my period was very light. It was more of a spotting, trickle kind of deal. And I used uh, the Organic Cup and also two other cups during that period. My period did last for over two weeks. So I did get a good chance to use the Organi Cup for a few days and, you know, get to know how it was and what it felt like and if it was comfortable and, and whatnot. I used both sizes of the Organi Cup, the small and the large, and I tried the C-fold and the punch-down fold with both of the sizes. The rim of this cup is quite firm. It's not as firm as the Lunette, but close to it. And it did kind of remind me of when I was using the Lunette as to how it folded up and how it popped open while it was inserted. If you're looking for a cup that has a firmer rim to get the cup to open easier, uh, the Organi Cup might be a good option for you. Once I got the cup inserted, it felt comfortable. I didn't detect it. The rim didn't press on anything sensitive. Um, the one area of the cup that I didn't care for was the stem. In my unboxing video, I did mention that the stem was nice and flexible and that the grip rings kind of um, shifted under my fingers, so I thought that it would, you know, be fine for my body, but when I was actually wearing it, it did give me some irritations. Um, my cervix is normally medium to high, and just the way that this cup sat, the stem was at the opening of my vagina, and sometimes the friction uh, between my labia while I moved around was uh, quite irritating. So if I was to use this cup on a normal basis, I would probably trim the stem off. A note for if you are trimming the stem on this cup, make sure to leave a little bit of the stem intact because it doesn't really have a an extra seal on the inside. There's just a thin piece of silicone. Um, so you don't want to cup, uh, cut into the actual um, body of the cup, making the cup useless. So um, remember that when you are trimming the stem on the Organi cup. The holes on these cups are quite large and they are the same size between the two uh, small and large cup. Uh, I could easily fit a, a pencil tip through it and I was really worried about that. Um, if I had my heavy period, would it start to leak from the holes? And at this point, I can't answer that because, again, my period was really light during uh, the time that I used this. However, I think that sometimes large holes can be, um, it can make a cup experience easier for some people. Um, it can allow air to get into the cup to help it to open, although this has a good firm um, rim on it. Uh, it also kind of helps get that seal, the, the cup to seal around your cervix, um, just because when you pinch it, some air can rush out and then, you know, kind of suction on. And then also when you're removing the cup, it's easier to break that seal because the air holes are larger. I didn't have any problems removing the cup. Uh, the seal broke really easily for me when I compressed the side of it. And um, if you need a good stem with nice grip rings, this uh, cup does have those grip rings that for me uh, were kind of an irritation, but for others it's a good grip if you do need that. 
The size of the Organi cup is very similar to the size of the Lunette cup and thinking back to when I had very heavy periods with the Lunette, I did have to empty my cup um, anywhere from two to four to six hours. It kind of depended on if I had heavy clotting um, on top of my heavy period. So uh, I, I would think that they would be, you know, or I would have a similar experience if I did have a heavy period while I was use the or, uh, using the organic cup. Um, so, you know, if you have a medium to light flow, these would be perfect. Uh, if you have a very heavy flow, you might have to empty it a little um, sooner than normal. One thing that I did notice with these cups were that um, I stained them very quickly and that's, you know, my body, your experience might be different, um, but I did wear it for the full 12 hour duration and um, because my period was so light uh, and then I tried it again at the 8 hour mark and at the 6 hour mark and it didn't matter where I changed it within, you know, the 6 hours. Um, they stained pretty much the same. I didn't remove it even, you know, sooner than the six hour duration. Um, so maybe, you know, it wouldn't stain as much if I did then, but, um, I did soak them in a solution of peroxide and water. Uh, I usually dilute it because it's just cheaper. It makes my, uh, bottle of peroxide last longer and it still works just the same or just as good. Um, and they look brand new. Um, so that's fine for me. I mean, I, stains, stains don't really bother me, but when I have them sitting on a shelf here for you guys to see and, you know, on camera, I try not to have, uh, you know, it very stained. Um, so... I think that would probably be my only con for me personally, again, um, about these cups. Well, that was my experience with the Organi Cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you have a particular cup that always stains. Let me know what cup that is and what you do to get rid of them, if you do anything. Until I see you next time, take care.